Okay. Picking up around page 31, where we left off last time. And we did up to exercise 17. So now it's time to do exercise 18 or 1 18 in the intro section. In section 1.9. So now we gotta do touch ex1 18. C, I suppose. And this one says, write a program to remove trailing blanks and tabs from each line of input and to delete entirely blank lines. Okay, so we remove trailing white space and delete blank lines. Okay. So, hmm. Let's take the line oriented 117 and start from there. Now, entirely blank lines, while part of the logic overall, I suppose, might be able to be done automatically, but I'm going to short circuit this logic and just say if len is less than two, so it would have to contain only a new line if we were getting a line back, then we skip the line entirely. And that's a pretty basic modification to 1.17. Um, skip blank lines and trim trailing white space. Now for trimming trailing white space, we should just be able to do a truncation by moving the null terminator forwards before we print it out. So this should say line. We can do a little iterative pass. And I think what we can do is we can iterate through, get the last index of the the, the index of the last occurring non white space character, and then check to see if that's the same as the length of the string minus one. Now, I guess we're supposed to have the new line in it, so we'll have to avoid truncating there. So we actually need to move back the new line, and we need to move back the null terminator to truncate properly. Okay, so let's start by getting that last index. So let's give ourselves an i, and we'll do four i's classic for loop here, four i equals zero, i is less than len, i plus plus, and it's actually gonna be len minus one. Okay, because we want to skip the new line, right? And then we're going to do if, no. So we're going we're gonna to have an i, and then we're going to have a last. And we're going to start by saying, last equals zero as well. And then let's give ourselves multiple things here. And we'll say if line i is not equal, actually, let's do switch line i. say case we should just have spaces 
and we should have tabs. Does it say anything else? Trailing blanks and tabs. I guess there's vertical tabs too, but for now, this should be fine. And if we get one of those, we do nothing. But then by default, we set last to I. And then that's going to be the last index of something that isn't white space. So then we test after we've gone through the whole line. And I suppose it would be more efficient to go through the line backwards because that will find this faster, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. If last is not equal to len minus one, then we have to truncate and we need to do line last plus one and we should i suppose probably have a well i guess we're guaranteed that there's enough space for this um Oh, I think we can do this even easier, actually. We can just decrement len, and then when we be right, we'll just write out less content. We don't actually need to do string manipulation. So then we can say len equals last, I think. That should work. Um, let's do a quick test over here to see and make sure it does this right. So let's say A, B, C, D, tab, tab, space, 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 A, S, D, F, A, S, D, F, or Q, W, E, space, space, tab, T, Y, R, T, Y, and space, 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 after that, and then just quack. And then a blank line, and let's say duck. Let's see what this gives us update the file name here. Oops. Um, oh, I missed the pound include dot h pound include c dot h. Need those for plan nine c. Okay, so it has to be last plus one. And then we have to move the new line over. So line last plus one equals new line. So we lost the new lines. Let's try that again. Last plus two. There we go. Okay, so now we maintain the new lines and we still get our offset text at the beginning. We lose the blank line and we don't seem to have any trailing spaces. And I'm pretty sure Echo doesn't already drop this because if I put this down here, is it? Yeah, see, we get the cursor goes all the way over because it actually writes out the blanks. So the program is operating correctly. Nice. That was pretty tidy. Okay. So the next one's going to be. Um, 1.19 or 1 19, I suppose. Let's do that and touch ex 1 19.c. Open this. Okay. 
and 1-19 says, write a function reverse that reverses the character string s. Use it to write a program that reverses its input a line at a time. So we just uh, basic reverse function, but we need it to work on strings. So we're going to do a string reverse rather than just um, buffering everything and putting it out backwards or something like that. It's a in place line, or not an in place, but a on the spot line reverse. Um, we might be able to do something nice here too, where we, while it says string, we probably don't want to work on bytes because ideally we should be able to work on UTF-8. So we should see like, we want, we should be able to do like smiley, frowny, um, smile slash lip slash keyboard or rep face slash lip slash keyboard I don't know if any of these are multi-byte or not I guess there's a few easy ways to check that you can do echo dash n yeah so this is um two bytes so we can use like this that in like the middle i think that's how that works um we have like oops lc slash lib so like a katakana hiragana yeah that's kind of what i'm looking for slash lib slash is there a chinese one like a mandarin one i don't see it i guess that's fine is there a... oh it's kana for the okay so Let's grab out a couple of these too, since I'm pretty sure these are multi-byte. All right, so we do this, and we'll do like black. There we go. And this will be our text body. I wonder if I can do like. Um, Well, come on. Why can't I type anymore? I seem to have lost the ability to type in my VM. And I, I'm not sure why. Uh, this is unfortunate. I don't know what I did wrong. Press an alt key, I guess. Oh, that's wacky. Okay. Um, okay, let's see if I have the letters to write out fs halt using only cut and paste fs would like to buy an h this is the stupidest thing i've done in a long time wow i don't know what happened i've never had that happen before fs it's crazy that like my mouse works so i know all of the input isn't broken alt oh my god i need a space Okay, <laughs> and then dash R. There's an R. Okay, <laughs> we'll reboot the. Oh my god, I can't wait. Um, I totally can get a new line if I select like this. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, recovery. 
Oh, that's crazy. I, I don't know what. Oh, my virtual box doesn't let me type into it. Um, what does this look like on stream right now? Oh, it just, I mean, it looks how it is. Maybe I can like unplug and replug my keyboard. But I feel like it's not a keyboard problem. So I feel like that won't fix it. But maybe it will, I don't know. What the fuck? Input. Keyboard settings. Host key, control, alt. I guess I can just, um, close. Do I need to like restart VirtualBox completely? So maybe I do that. Open VirtualBox. Start at 386 VM. I don't know why it glommed onto the, you have an update. Okay, my keyboard works now. That's good. Um, let me fix that. VM real quick. There's a VM window while it boots up. Uh, here we go. Let me show it. Okay. that work? Dope. Okay, stream is back. CD repos. So what was this? KNR? Oh, CD source. KNR. Okay. CDX. Just have to reset up all that shit again. Oh, I should have Acme dumped while I had the uh, mouse. Hindsight is 2020. Yeah. So CX1 19.c and and uh, AL X1 19.8 and and 8.out. And then a block pipe of echo. And uh, you know, cat slash lib slash Anna, like slowly learning my lesson that uh, I shouldn't try to alt key too much. I suppose I don't know how I broke it, but let me see if this just runs real quick. Oh, I guess uh, there's no code in it. So to recap, uh, this is the we need to write a reverse on lines. So let's take all of 118, put it in here since this is another line oriented program. Reverse, reverse lines of input using a reverse function. And we want it to be room safe, which means we can't just invert all of the bytes. We need to. Um, pull out and probably write into a new buffer would be my guess. So let's look at so we can get the line back and then and Unicode, I don't know. I'm like uh, struggling to think of what the functions would be called. Look, man, rune. I'm going to regret that. And to bio, draw, event, frame graphics, runester cat. So man to rune. Hmm. 
whole rune. Returns one if the string s of length n is long enough to be decoded by charter rune. In zero otherwise, it's not guaranteed that it contains a legal UTF-8 encoding. This routine is used by programs to obtain input a byte at a time. You need to know when a full rune has arrived. Okay. So chart a rune. Okay, I see. We get a rune array out, and that that's what I want. I think I want a rune star reverse rune star in. And I know their thing does it in place and returns like a size, but we're always going to do the same size. So, um, u size, no, u32 int. I guess it, we should use u size. I think 9 front has that now. Grab u size slash 386 slash include slash u dot h. Yeah, that checks out. Okay. U size one. And then we return the return a, an allocated buffer containing a reversal of Okay. I can just call it S actually. Well, I guess in and out is pretty nice and readable, even if we use it down here for other stuff, but that's okay. We don't need to know about those up here. Okay. So now we want to do return out and then rune star out. And we do out equals alloc. Um, thinking. I guess it should be len and then size of rune. I guess that sounds right. Uh, capital R rune. And then we can just do uh, I know this is like a pretty common function. I'm just going to see how many times I fuck it up trying to write it. And I or i equals zero, i is less than, well, I'm doing it backwards. I think that's what makes the most sense to me. Len should be the complete string length. So we're just gonna pretend that's true. i equals len minus one, i is greater than or equal to zero, I minus minus. Okay. Then that's the backwards. So if we do um, int two equals len minus i, does that sound right? Len minus one minus i. This is where we end up in the beginning of the other ones, then we do out to equals in i. Let me see. Let me think about that. So at zero, for example, it would be zero, or it would be like a string length of five, it would be five minus one, four minus zero, which would put us at index four. That's not right. No, or sorry. Zero minus zero puts us at four. That puts us at the end. I want to put it at the beginning. Man, I did not come in here with my full brain cells engaged. Um, I mean, you can always do the really shitty way where you just keep two counters, and I'm almost tempted to just write that. Um, <laughs> that seems like less brain power. Um, 
two from equals equals zero from equals zero while from is less than or greater than equal to zero from minus minus to plus plus. <laughs> this is so bad, but I don't I don't care. Len minus one. And and I guess we should have a short circuit up here of if n is equal to nil or len is less than one return nil. And that just keeps us from handling empty stuff. We shouldn't call it like that, but still. So then we can just do um, out to equals in from. There we go. Perfect. It's much easier to think about for me right now. It's the only part that matters. Um, okay. So now, assuming that's correct, input a line at a time. Okay. And this iterates over all just runes. So now when we get do B read line, there's no like B rune functions, right? B read. I don't think so. So you can always uh do like a S print. Um you can like always print out a char star into a room star. That's like a thing you can do. Um as long as you have space, you do like a percent capital S and it makes it a rune string or a full like rune string rather than a char string or something like that. Um Okay, so we need man room and we need this charter rune. And then we're gonna do rune to char at the end too. Um This is so much uh buffer juggling, but well, I don't, I don't know, actually, we can do B print and we should be able to do B print with a percent capital S and that should just work. So we don't have to use B right. So we switch to using B print. Where is your signature? Just do save B print. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought out and then. Um, percent s. There we go. New line. Or we get the new line back. We don't actually want. So it's not even minus one. It's actually minus two, and then we leave the new line in place. There we go. That sounds right. It actually. This is if len is, or this is just if len is less than one. Um. If len is equal to one, return in. I guess that's the. It's kind of a janky short circuit. I'll just I'll just leave that out, because then it's not technically allocated, and I guess you don't know if your input's technically allocated or whatever. Okay, so we show we don't we don't need the new line there, and then rev. So we can do rune star rev. And then rev equals, let me move this up here. Rev equals reverse of <laughs> rune stir. And then the rune stir rev or stir. Equal or er, er, erster equals alloc. Uh, 
of Len. We don't need like last or any of this logic, actually. And we don't need to skip blank lines. Didn't read line. So we can get rid of like last. And we keep len and we keep n and we keep i. Okay. That seems good. And then calic len size of room. Yes. Is that did I do that right up here? Yeah, I guess so. And then we need uh, rune to char a charter rune copies at most UTF max bytes starting at S to one rune at R returns the number of bytes copied. If it's not exactly, it will return a rune error. Okay. So then n equals and then if n is what what did they say return one so if this is this n equal to one iron will convert to rune error i guess does it mean it'll convert a byte copied or bytes copied i don't is rune error a function it's weird that this is kind of ambiguous. Coding a rune error results in the invalid encoded input can yield a longer. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if one is correct because then if it if it has like a, a blank line, what happens? Because that would just be one byte. I don't know. Let's put it in for now and see what happens. Error could not input was invalid. ETF eight. Oops. Percent R to get the error. Okay. N equals char to rune, and it would be line to firster. And then after the print, we have to free rev, and we have to free firster. Speed read line allocated, I don't remember. No, it's B read stray that's allocated. B read line points into the buffer so we don't need to do anything with that okay let's see what happens okay good start mismatch charter rune um big charter rune what why is it in that order oh i guess because it's like the right to the um converts Okay, but whatever. Erster line. Kind of disagree with that, but whatever. Not enough function arguments. Oh, because we need to pass in the length. I guess we just lie to it. And rather than baking the logic in here, we can just lie to it about the length. Input was invalid. UTF eight. Which line was that on though? Line. Line. And equals percent. B. Um. Because if the line len was also one. If n is less than or equal to 1 and n len is greater than 1. <laughs> this is so janky. What the hell? Um, oh? 
nil 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 okay great uh We get null back. What? This is reverse out. Out is allocated. Is it because it's not null terminated? Is that the is that the problem? Is that it's not a null terminated string? Probably. Um it's weird though. Um I guess it I guess bprint probably returns like an error. What is it? It's probably like bytes written or something goofy like that. People don't use the output of print stuff very often. You just kind of print and find out. Turns the number of bytes written. Negative value. So there is an error. Okay. So let's see if bprint throws. No, but I checked that. If it's less than. Zero. I guess it can be zero. Wow, these error values are horrendous. Negative value. Okay, it, it is negative. It is negative. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Why is it not? Oh, um, it's less than one though. Um, equals len minus one. Maybe it, I, I, I guess my guess is still that it, it needs to be null terminated, which makes me wonder if I do actually want to use like e write and then just use like one more buffer. Otherwise, I would have to, I guess I could stuff in down here so I could do I could allocate len plus one size okay so let's say I do len plus plus okay no so everything has to go as normal here. We just allocate wait. Len plus plus. And then we say, well, but it should if it's calic, it should have a null byte there. It would always have a null byte. Maybe the copying is leaving a null at the beginning. Let's debug this here and stick in actual prints on standard error. From out percent D equals in percent D. We'll do that to from. Okay. Let's see what is coming out. Let's do this with a smaller inputs. Um, length three here, I guess. About here. Okay, smaller inputs. All right, out zero equals in two. Oh, let's do percent. R is that the is that the rune no capital R capital C uh oh um and bumped no oh my god that's go man print what are the where's the one for runes do 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 I just wish this was like tabled and not me trying to visually skim through it. Because there's, okay, S, no terminated string.
S verb is similar. C, and then capital C works on rooms. Okay. Um, out to in from. Uh, I guess it still might be full, so maybe we have to do len plus plus. I'm just gonna like, or I'm gonna say allocate len plus one, and then just see what happens real quick. Okay, that didn't do anything, so just get rid of that until further notice. Um, so, why are there spaces? Why does it end up putting spaces in? It's kind of wacky. Also, it doesn't get through everything. It's just super wacky. Well, let, let, let's just look at the lo the the logic real quick. I guess the first one. Let's let's even get rid of this and just say like ASDF. And do this. Oh. Didn't like that. Input was invalid utf eight think so seems kind of wacky doesn't seem right man this makes me nostalgic for go's unicode libraries because you just like do you have bio and you just pull a rune out and put a rune in i have like half a mind to try to just write it like that and just make a max line buffer or something really nasty like that. But then you just end up re-implementing parts of like buffer.io and it just feels bad. Um, okay, hold on. Echo, quack, keep that out. Let's like keep this quick. Why input is invalid. So charter rune failed. But was charter rune ever right? Um, and charter rune starting at S, uh huh, to one rune at R. Cotton returns the number of bytes copied, which is not exactly in UTF format convert to rune error. What does that mean? How how is this invalid UTF is what I'm wondering. Um because it's just taking a basic string in. I feel like there's a oh, easier way to do this. Um maybe I just want to S print. SM print. Because this returns a uh, returns a char star though. What does charter room do? And why why is it choking on the line? Because there should be nothing about this that's special. Like, uh, go. I mean, one character. I guess that's the new line. Oh, we don't want to. Line minus one. So we do like S. And then I guess alpha what happens if we do that. 
That's so wacky. Why is it like that? I must be doing something very wrong. Oh, I guess Arster, it's not necessarily the length in bytes, because really, this is the size in bytes. It's not the rune length, right? So when we calloc, oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, this is possibly much bigger than it needs to be. But then what we get out But it should still be null terminated. And where did my where did my alpha go? Did did I like do this wrong? This looks right to me. In from I do len minus one. No, that's right, because otherwise it's gonna be it's gonna like go out of bounds. Right? Like maybe. Or right, we determined that it doesn't like that. Let me just stuff this down here. Uh yeah, okay, so that's out of bounds. That window is like corrupted or something. Get rid of that. What? What? I fixed it. But the What? Wow, it doesn't feel like this should be this hard. Um, out for where are all of these like extra spaces coming from? I guess because it's working on len, we're passing in len, which really we need to when we reverse, we want to pass in n because that's the number written. So Oh my god, how many times am I going to do this? I'm just going to put this in a new window before I, like, lose it forever. I'm really lazy and I don't want to have to redo it. What the fuck? What? Why is it freaking out on this. Everything should be calloced anyway. Right? Like, we shouldn't be seeing out of bounds stuff. This is so wacky. Okay, but if I don't, let me like get out. If should get rid of this, get rid of this new window, it's not recompiling. Oh, because I'm not doing low brain cells day. Okay, let's take this back. Okay. Very low brain cells day. Okay, I hate it. Why? Okay, that doesn't seem to be the answer. How many is N? Why does it why does it print as nothing? Are they like nulls? Do I have leading nulls? Like 
we're not hitting this. So there's not some kind of UTF-8 error. All of these problems caused by insisting on doing UTF-8. This is why I wish I was more familiar with the way that not go does this, because this feels kind of crazy. Um, and charter room returns the number of bytes copied. Yes. Excellent. Why does it return one? That just sounds wrong. That it just doesn't sound correct. So not just like a scanner style, like, like progress through the string and I guess you increment like a pointer through the buffer and then try to decode the next rune. Shard rune. God, that sounds like such a pain. I remember implementing something like this before, and I think I used we used smprint to just like get a rune pointer out or something like that. But I kind I'm kind of annoyed, and I want to do it like this. I just, I have no confidence in what Charter Rune is doing. Like, cd sys source lib. Uh, where's the source for this? Rune.c. Does this have Charter Rune in it? Yes. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's return one. Rune equals bad. Um, or, or. <laughs> uh, arster is equal to nil. So that would be fucked um len and runes equals percent d what is it yeah let's see like n also maybe i guess we kind of might get that here like f print to run len it's percent Okay, that is incorrect. It should be three. Somehow we're getting, I think it's only two. S A, we put in like a B here. Why does it stop? Oops. Come on. Give me that. Undo. Just. Oh. Okay, whatever. I should have seen that coming. So, like. Am I like misunderstanding the purpose of this? I think I might be. Like, how on earth is this invalid UTF-8? Is it only for, do, do they only want it to be for like, multi-byte wide runes? Because that feels not quite right. And it doesn't put anything useful in Airster. For the system that UTF-8 was invented on. This feels very silly. 
UTF rune. Like at this point, I might as well. I mean, they say like write a reverse, but the whole point is writing a reverse function. So I guess I can't. I I can't just walk the string backwards. Um. What do we get in our stern? I don't think I've looked at that. So we get len. Um, like if we do f print reversing set s. We do like in here. What do we like get? Like that makes like no fucking sense to me at all. Like input, like it, like it's a blank. The first one. Are there like other functions in here? Like UTF rune turns a pointer to the first occurrence of the rune C. It's not occur in the string. Null byte terminating string is here to be part of the string S. Are we putting a null byte at the beginning? Is that like... Oh, I guess so. I guess it might be... That there's... Null bytes. So how big is... N? Our charter rune isn't even the number of runes, is it? It's the number of bytes copied. Uh, the number of bytes copy. Yeah, number of bytes required to convert R into UTF. Which is the number of bytes required. Rune len. Which is the number of bytes required to convert R into UTF. Charter rune to one rune. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. No wonder this didn't work. To one rune. To one rune. It's not a. Oh, it's not a. It's not a conversion function. It's one rune. Well, what the? What the hell is the? What? That's horse shit. Um, to one rune. Oh, and it's, that's why it's falling over. That makes so much sense. This manual is fucking worthless. Um. Man, rune stir cat. Is there like I know this one has like some wacky functions in it. Um where the hell is the is is it really just SM print is the way you get um Like, how are you supposed to convert between the two? I feel like this is knowledge I had at one point. Yeah, rune SM print. <sighs> so much wasted time. Rune SM print. Is that it? I really hope there's someone out there in the nine fans folks 
watching this and dying inside because I, uh, uh, that was crazy. I'm just dying. I'm dying inside a little bit now. Okay, so Erster is nil. UTF eight. Urchin failed. I don't know if this actually gives us a Erster, but Lord, I'm gonna try. Rev reverse. Okay. 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 Rune Sterling, though. Is there like a. Man, Rune Sterling. I need to like make a blog post or a wiki page or something. Yeah, there's Rune Sterling. Okay. Okay. So then. Len, and then we have Rune Sterling, and we do Rune Sterling of uh, Arster. Okay. Er Okay, three is correct. Except now we want to do. Oh, right. Now this is corrupted because Acme has a huge beef with. Damn it. Um, B, A, A, B. I guess there would be nothing in the destination when we're writing it. So there's actually. There's no point in printing that. Disgusting. All right. And it prints out the void. We get like so many error guards. Rev, if Rev is nil, it's this fatal error, reversal fail. R. I don't set that, but I guess we'll just get rid of it. I, I I don't think this is the problem, but you know. Okay. Um, is there like? So it's besides two. What happens if I do this? Total garbage. I guess that's what's expected. It's technically should be that. I don't use Arlen ever. I'm comfortable with it. This. Wait, reversing. Why is there a new line in there? Oh, I guess um right, because I don't I don't uh actually truncate it, but we use the len. We we lie to it about the len and just give it a bigger buffer. That's that should be fine. Yeah, because we do A and then, or alpha and then um, the S set. Or is that beta? No. Star B. Yeah, that's beta. And then that's capital beta. Yeah, it is an S set. I couldn't quite remember. Why do we have this trailing garbage? Is there like a B end print where I can just truncate? Is it not? I guess it might not be getting null terminated. Um, so maybe I do want Arlen after all. 
Well, no, it doesn't revert matter here. We have to do rlen equals. Yeah. rlen equals. That and then after reversal, we probably need to null terminate it. So we need to do rev rlen equals not. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh oh. Let me just see what happens if I do that before I debug anything. Rev is nil. Read. Panic. I do see I get the stack trace of 1961. That's what I want. Uh oh. Bring Rstir. But rune. SM print that returns a that's like a mallet one, right? Like rune SM print. Oh, excuse me. Let me see. I well, guess it's not. SM print is like print except it prints into and returns a string a required length, which is allocated by malloc2. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So why is freeing it giving it a stroke? I don't think I'd do anything wacky with it. Okay, but but I guess if I get rid of the offending line. Hi I don't know I don't know who C Thane is, but hello. Hello C Thane. Oh hi Llama. Having a lot of fun here as you can see. I made my the where I'm currently doing exercise one nineteen. From the KNR, which is write a reverse function for a string and reverses one line at a time and then prints out the lines in order. With the trick being that A, we're doing it in plan 9C, and then B, we're doing it UTF compliant, UTF 8 compliant. And that last sentence is being uh, quite the little, quite the little nasty. Yeah, I also like them. And I've done a bunch of them before, and this one's super trivial if you do it. Um, it's super trivial if you do it just with, like, bytes. Okay, so it doesn't like this free, even though there's no reason it should be problematic. Oh. Stack. I mean, 67. Oops. Uh, line. Does B read line? Am I like? Sorry, this might be seg faulting for dumb reasons. Maybe it's not. Okay. Corrupt tail. Magic zero. What on earth? Stack twenty ninety seven. What have I done? That's so evil. Try star line. You read line. In, in BFD open standard in. This has not been an issue up to this point. What the hell? What did I do? 
have no idea what I did that was so wrong. I don't know, everything was printing funny, but behaving until I did that. I don't, this is so, yeah. And here it just, it works fine. It just prints wacky. Why does inserting a null delimiter make it have a stroke? Ireland equals zero. I mean, that shouldn't matter. Ireland's set here. We don't use it first. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing um, to set it, I suppose. Wait, where is Arlen? Yeah, like, I don't think we use it, yeah, before we set it. I mean, it's not a bad point. I mean, it's reversing this just fine. We just get this garbage at the end. Um, is, is there, like, BN print? I doubt it, I guess. The answer would be B right. And I guess I could just convert back and just be right the bytes necessary. Um, B print. Yeah, this is just like super wacky. Because you see, if I uncomment this, so Arlen is so man rune sterling right like this should be the length of the string um you're gonna make me look at the stir cat manual just to be a hundred percent sure a copy of no or sorry i want sterling returns the number of bytes in s except it's supposedly the rune equivalent right not including the terminating null byte. Right. Okay, actually, so this needs to be rune len plus one. Ah, okay, so the fucky bit memory corruption might be coming because rev is allocating for this size. Um, I guess I could just give it a size to allocate for, or I guess I could just pass in the buffer for it to work with. So it has like a from to idiom rather than, um, returning something allocated. So then I can allocate ref. Equals calic um, rlen plus one. So this will actually be rlen. And we're going to do this, this might be right. I might still be off by one, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, rster rev. Okay. So then we do in out rune star out get rid of this get rid of this okay let's just see what this gives us oh okay it's nice when a plan comes together um so then if i drop the debug prints do this. Okay, we just keep getting that. So then if I do the big one, uh -huh, why is it doubled? Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. Why why is there why is there two of it? What the fuck? Wait. Do this. Okay. Do that, and we do like I don't know star. Oh, I want like 
do that. Whoa. Why is it duplicating? What? Oh, it's not duplicating. It's just confused. I take this. Er. Echo. This is what I did before to draw a visual separator. Oh, it is duplicating. What the fuck? Um, what? I also have a lend down here. A line up here. Get rid of that one. Just put this in here also until proven otherwise. Wow, what? So crazy that it's duplicating. But very weirdly, too. Like, how many... We break when we get EOF. Does this happen in not Acme? I, I just, I have to know. CD repos, KNR, CD source, can I'm going to do that so many times. CDX, echo, I, I, act. Take that out. What? Why is it mirroring over the middle? <laughs> what? What? Oh man, I, me and C have been apart for so long, so many years. I, uh, I just, oh, this is so wacky. Why is it repeating? What? What? <laughs> um, hence line number equals one. Or I'll make that zero. Hold on. Hold on. Print two line number percent d uh does it think i'm feeding it more lines than exist like how are there four lines? Bio, bio, please. What, what on earth? There's not four lines. There's one, two, three. And um, This is so wacky. Oh, I just this just smells of memory corruption. Like I, I I don't know I don't know what it is, but it just it smells like it. Okay. Okay, get rid of this. This is pissing me off. Um Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So 
we get a new line out. Wait, when? What? Does Rune SM print mangle its input? No way. No way, right? Like, that would be absurd. There's, 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 there's no way. It's bothering me so much. <laughs> SM print. We use print and string. I guess it's not null terminated. So, oh, that's why. That's why it's not null terminated. I need to use be read stir because uh, it wasn't a problem when I wasn't using it like strings, but now I'm using it like strings because I'm using SM print. <sighs> This is line equals b read stir in get that new line in there, and then it's what like if you set null delim to true, it replaces the new line. It's not really what I want. Um. B readster. If null delim is set, it will be the terminator. Hey, this is actually easy and tolerable because I can get around this by just B printing it with a new line. Okay. And that also means I don't have to lie to reverse about the length. Well, yes, I do, because I don't, I don't, I don't want to put the null delim at the beginning. Um, okay, let's see what happens. Oh, wait, what did I ask it to do? My memory is hazy. That's not right. Oh, Christ. Uh. Reaster that means I also have to free line. Just gotta put that in there. B readster. Until new line, replace the new line with an old limb. Okay. Ooh, okay, that looks like an off by one error. Which means I probably need to do that. That is reversed. And I do have one blank line at the end. So that's actually correct. Oh, okay. 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 So now if I do... Um, at slash lib slash kana. Okay. And then I do... Eight dot out slash lib slash comma. Dope. That looks right, right ish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Awesome. Now we just get rid of the all the stupid line number stuff. Wow, that was a lot of debugging. I was not like emotionally prepared for that right now. That's okay. I don't need that. I was not awake going into this. I'm so awake now. Okay, dope. All right. Hey, that. Uh, mm. Plan nine. Uh, 
Llama says, Plan 9C is exciting. Oh, I still need to complete the traditional can art. Yeah, I like went through the can art in its entirety very long time ago, like maybe once, and then have gone in and out at various sections over the years. And I never did all of the exercises. Um, and I'm trying to like re familiarize myself with these things how long has check real quick how long stream has been running Let's see if i should take a breather um, about an hour and a half uh, let me read the next exercise and see how crazy they sound because if they if they have, I have to do like Unicode string reversal, that might uh that might put a bit of a damper on my enthusiasm. Uh please. So flipping forward, it looks like the next one exercise one dash twenty, still in chapter one on page thirty-four. Exercise one dash twenty says write a program D tab that replaces tabs in the input with the proper number of blanks to space for the next tab stop. Assume a fixed set of tab stops, say every end column should and be a variable or a symbolic parameter. Um, and should be a command line argument, a variable. Uh, that one doesn't sound so bad. So we, it's just uh, tabs to spaces. Yeah, this is, this is, this is gonna be significantly less complicated than this monstrosity um okay yeah i'll do that i'll, I'll do that that one sounds pretty non -com pretty low commitment touch 1-20.c all right um all right um let me clean up my windows a little bit here i'm gonna keep the command one the next one is harder but i need to look again Okay, I'm gonna look at that in a second. Let me get my files back at the top. This is where I expect them to be. Um, get, and then I, for this one, I think I can just do it as like a reading character loop. I'm trying to remember the last time I did that. Maybe it was 1-16. Yeah, this one's like a, be get rune program and i think i just want to use this one 1-16 one sounds right we're going to kind of go back in time and use an older one um replace tabs with tab stop spaces number of spaces Pretty straightforward. Okay. Uh, let me read 1-21 then before I get started on this. Write a program end tab that replaces strings of blanks by the minimum number of tabs in blanks to achieve the same spacing. Use the same tab stops as for D tab. When either a tab or a single blank would suffice to reach a tab stop, which should be given preference. So they want, I guess blanks mean spaces for them, I think. They want you to, okay, yeah, I mean, it's in the name, end tab. Yeah, it is the opposite operation where you tabify a program. I mean, the, is the, the, the fact they say tabs and blanks tells me, um, tells me that they, I, I, I wish they didn't say and blanks because it was tab. You could do it like in a kind of a rounding way. Um, this also totally ignores like the contents of strings. Um, because they uh, or the content or like there's no syntactical awareness, which is fine, but it means that you'd like potentially corrupt your strings if you had strings with like spaces and tabs and everything. 
So the correct way to do this would be to do it like secretly what they actually want, I think, is the ability for this to work on source code. And that's why they're trying to like make this sound intuitive. So the question as written is very generic and uninteresting, but actually they want you to probably, or like to, for this to actually be useful, you'd want it to be um, operating only on leading white space. which is not a 1-16 templated question. That's going to be more like a, um, this one, where we read the line, 1-18. Let me yoink the main function from this real quick. Yeah, yeah, and then you run it on the source just for the excitement. I, I get it. OK, let's use this then as our boilerplate. Okay. I'm thinking about 1 21 now and not even like on 1 20, but uh, okay. So here we so we can get a subset of the string very similar to trailing white space by finding the first index of non white space so we can do let me just make my life a little easier real quick last to first so it's a little more idiomatic do that and then we break on here no we should set it every iteration. And then um, I don't want to use break actually. <laughs> um, if line i is equal to space no is equal to space or line i equal to tab i guess for d tab we I'm just going to write it like this, and then I'll I'll see what happens. Stuff a continue in here, and then we'll break otherwise. Um, I think this is kind of like the reverse of what's logical, but it it seems it it seems to work in my head right now. So I'm just going to go with it. Um, line minus one is correct. We don't want the new line. Um. Actually, to make this even easier, yes, wait, 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 wait. All right, so we do this, and then we do if line, this is a little repetitive, but I guess this works. So we, we just terminate the, we just run the loop forever. And if we hit something that's not a tab or a space, we just stop. That seems good. And then we can stuff a right in here. We stuff a right, be right in here, another for loop. And 
another int i. Maybe it'll let me do that, maybe it won't. i is less than um, tab stop i plus plus do p right out um, we just write that many spaces um, int arg c char star arg v arg begin arg end and then man arg begin do our little command line handler here um case b okay defaults make a usage function here in a sec do we get a arg v0 gets set if we have arg begin i think that sounds right to me um case we'll do case t i don't know um that stop equals erg is that the good one i know they they have like two one is Um, or at least Inferno had two. Argand, argc, argf. That's uh, so that with one. And one of them pops usage if you don't give it an argument, and one doesn't. And you would literally never want to use the not popping usage one. I can't think of a reason to. Macro argf is like argf, but instead of returning zero, returns code. And if it returns, calls abort. Yeah, typical usage is ergf usage. Yeah, exactly. Okay. There we go. Break. And then we do void usage. Void usage void. Doesn't take any arguments. Um, exits usage. Fprint to usage um what's this called d tab or right, okay hold on hold on let's do percent s and then use arg v0 is that the yeah okay percent s uh, dash t tab stop okay then we do um Int tab stop equals, I don't know, uh, four by default. That seems pretty okay. I know eight is maybe the more traditional one, but I like four. That's all that matters. Um, move my other declarations up here, I suppose. This one also has the erroneous len. Okay. So. Okay, this seems fine. Let's give this a try. Um, let's do, um, we're doing 1-20 now. And we'll do, uh, yeah, we'll do 8.out and feed it x1-20.c. Oops. Oh my god, I just called it 1-20.c. Okay, hold, hold on. <laughs> Move 1-20.c, x1-20.c. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, good. Um, getting some nice, fun errors. Um, what do we got here? ERGF? Oh. Uh... Oh, because we have to get here. Hold on, char star box. 
and then we do tab stop equals uh, a to i box. I don't know. Bop. Bop. Last name char. Box equals. And am I not allowed? I guess I'm probably not allowed to have a declaration in there. I think I remember that being a thing. Bop. Are you mismatch? Int or int void. Oh, um, is that fine? Yeah, name that declared first. Don't need that. <laughs> That's old code. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Let's see what we got. These look like tabs. Um because it still writes out the line. Oh, because we're working on the whole line. Um Okay, so actually, we can do some shenanigans, I think. We can do int end equals zero. Get rid of i here. Say end equals zero. End is less than tab stop. End i plus plus. And then this will drop us off at. We can just work on a subset. Does this, does this work? I don't know. And then where are my spaces going? This is all very uh, sus. Oh. See, I'm still getting. Does back t not work here? Do I have to like put in a tab literal or something silly? Um. Oh, and and maybe it's never running. Oh, oh my. Um. Sus. <laughs> okay, 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 hold on. Um whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is clearly not what I wanted. Okay, this is gonna psych fault though, if I just what what is in? This is my my uh Okay, I'm I'm doing though end is Okay, wait, 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 wait. This isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I wanted. Int Okay, we will use our own eye, but then what we do is we do end equals <laughs> I'm just I'm just, I'm just gonna use uh I'm just gonna use J. I, I can't um abuse scoping this much i think okay i i hate nested loops like this though okay now this looks right okay but it's also still printing the tabs or it prints all but the last tab works for all but the last tab that's so interesting Um, oh, I wonder.
What if I just do this and push out the? Does that work? Ooh, that looks right. I'm not sure exactly why it's off by one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, if end is greater than equal to zero. Okay, let's do that. And then I have to see why are there double new line <laughs> what the fuck are these why are there double new lines <laughs> what did i do um <laughs> what why why are blank lines doubled Uh, Len. I don't know why, but my instincts tell me I should try that. Oh, no, I should not try that. Instant regret. Um, oh, this is so wacky. Because it's only... Empty lines double themselves. Uh... something cursed this way comes i guess oh but this will this would break on new lines too i shouldn't be this smells like memory corruption to me what on earth okay wait let, let, let me let's just stop with the math um okay let's stop with the math um let's turn end into a bool okay and then we set it up here okay and then We don't break, but when we hit something that isn't indentation, okay, no, 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 no. This is still too. This is still overcomplicated. Um, no end. When we no longer are being indented, let's just run out the rest of the loop. Here you do i is less than len minus one. I plus plus. Let me just be right out. Um just do this. Okay. In here. Put the happy case first so it's more obvious what's happening here. Um and then if we if it's one if this then we also don't need to do the next check so we can force a continue. This is a little ugly. I am not particularly proud of this program. Um
Okay. So let me just print spaces. Let's print. Tap. Stop. Spaces. Okay. And then the indentation is over. Right. The rest of the line. Okay. And we just do the right out. Um, I kind of want to just do like the individual. Can I just do like B print? Is that unreasonable? Just to no, because then it has to be oh god, then it has to be UTF. Um, do I need like an offset? What is len? Len is the number of bytes, including the new line. Oh, we still need an indentation. This should be outside of the loop. I need to go back. I need to go back. Unless I want to do every rune. I don't. Oh, this is... I'm not proud of this. Okay, and equals I... Break. Okay. 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 And then down here, there is an indentation. We have to increase the indentation because we found that out through manual testing. Let me get back. Um, let me see where we are. Okay, we're at the point where we lose the first. <laughs> what if I did that? No. Why does that kill the what? Why does that kill the new line? That's so wacky. Okay. Wait, are the new lines um Would it be so bad if we lost the new lines, didn't understand why, and just wrote out a new line at the end? Would that be so terrible? Um, let's do char star begin equals line plus end. Okay. And then int end equals len minus end. Okay. Begin end. Uh, Um, okay, let's just do end equals percent D end equals percent D and this should give us some insight. Um, I don't really feel like reading hex and hex doesn't really work in my head. I really wish pointers kind of were just given to me in decimal. I know that it's like kind of heresy, but like, I guess I could print them in decimal, but I, I don't know if that does anything for me. Um, so end end. This is a dyslexic's worst nightmare. Stop. What? That's why.
you get oh my god <laughs> i'm so spoiled by writing so much like go and other high level languages okay so let's just examine the first line no i need an indented line because like end equals one really it's not it's, it's not zero wait hold on oh because we increment it and negative one and is uh-huh okay so if it's not then end equals one no i do not want that end is greater than zero i think no that was not the answer wait did that give us like slightly more letters or am i like hallucinating that R regardless i guess it, it, it doesn't particularly matter but i think this is at least more correct um and are we losing anything off the end no doesn't look like it that's good that's very good even on indented lines and not indented okay so it doesn't gobble up the unindented lines now that's good now begin is len plus end do i not actually want to do this i like delusional but now we get the really wacky doubling of new lines oh, what the hell that means the problem is it reading like the new line twice for some reason bro This is so whack. <laughs> so wacky. Um, is it because should it be this? It's gonna have the doubling bug, isn't it? Fascinating. Um, should actually be I. So end is end is I. It's a snapshot of I, even though we could just use the value of I, which means it's the number of spaces and tabs, the number of bytes that we've skipped. Can I just... This is so whack. But if I reduce this by one, everything breaks. Why are there double of characters? I think I need a branch between times we've indented and times we haven't indented. I don't think I should need that branch, but I think I personally need that branch. So if indentation, <laughs> if indentation occurred, 
Oh my god. I guess it should all be solved by like incrementing the pointer that's returned. Right? I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing. Hmm. I don't know. I, I can't think that far ahead. I'm not awake enough to that. This Oh my god, this stream's been going for so long. Um, get my tea. I need to pour. Is it cold in Washington State? Um, It's like... Oh, what is it? It's about 38 Fahrenheit outside, which is a little above freezing. So it's a little chilly, but it's really not that cold. I think my calibration for cold would be closer to like my home city originally, my home states. And it's four degrees Fahrenheit there right now. So... I'd say it's right. It feels like negative five degrees Fahrenheit <laughs> in um, my college town. So uh, I will say it is not cold here. And uh, rejoice. So. <sighs> okay. Let's say do this our star begin equals line okay and then int end equals len okay and i guess we could early return here and just no i don't think that's what i want to do because we can just reuse the b right the debug print up here, this in here, and then we say begin and end. I'll do this. Put. It's a great day for memory corruption. Okay, got lots of new lines still gobbling up the last index okay, let's look at that debug output now so just some quick fact checking end is zero that's correct one two oh god wait hold on I, can i just do the this yes okay so 15 characters on that line um let me be even more absurd real quick and just make this a little fancier. Oc print three. Um, here we go. Does this work? Perfect. Okay. So lat line length is 15. This line length is 17. Okay, that all checks out. Um Actually, it would be really helpful if it printed the line number two. Um, how much is this one? 45. I guess that's probably this line. And then end is one. So one is the first index where there's something real. And that seems correct. Should it just be... So it's referring to the index. I, I wish I could just take slices, Jesus Christ. Um, it's, no, this has to be after even. I guess we can do before and after, before. Oops. After. 
we'll just do that real quick. Okay. So let me see what changed. <clears throat> um just do a quick eyeball on the output to make sure. Yeah, so like unindented lines aren't fucked up, which is good. Um so tell me the index, which should be the offset on the original string, right? But then we need to <clears throat> do that much less on the output for things to line up right. So, or wait, okay, wait, if I do minus one, then plus one, is it? <laughs> I just, is that what I, oh my god, I just need to do it in both directions. Okay, this, I don't know about this, but this works. And I feel like it should work with unmodified end, but I'm not good at math, and this looks right. And fuck this, I'm, uh, there's no way I'm doing the next one. Uh, but this looks right. Here we go. So if we put in this, we get one, two, three, four, have all of our text, unindented lines, all of their text, looks great to me. Okay, I'm gonna actually dump Acme because I didn't do that last time and then I lost my keyboard out of nowhere. So um, this is a nice little idiom here for the line length. You can see like how much text is in a selection. It's just kind of nice. Or how many bytes are in a selection, I suppose. All right. I am reasonably content with this. I think it could be better, but I think it's okay. So I'm going to cut the stream here because this is a good note. And I don't think I'm going to become more awake or more able to solve these. So um, thanks for tuning in, Llama. I really appreciate the company. Um, and I'm going to um, sign off here. So thank you again, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.